Hello there, I'm here for another um, book that I'd like to read for uh, Spring Into Storytime. And this one is again by Brian Press, this Brian Pandacup series of books, the lovely little novels for younger readers. And this one's How Sleepover Wars by Maddie Stewart, pictures are by Greg, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Massardier, Massardier? I am apologies if I've mispronounced that. Um, but here we go. Again, published by Brian Press. Poor Hal, he wants to go to the sleepover party, but he's too small. What can he do? Panda Cubs, reading is fun. Okay. Hal's sleepover. Tud, 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 tud. Mammy, mammy! said Hal. There's a dinosaur in the hall! Don't you just hate that? Dinosaurs in halls? Don't be silly, Hal, said Danny. It's me. I'm bumping my sleepover bag down the stairs. I'm going to a sleepover party. Hal jumped up to see. That's a huge bag. What's inside? Love the illustrations. Danny had a list. Torch. False face, chocolate milkshake, buns, biscuits, party cake, sleeping bag, wash bag, pajamas. Wow, said Hal. What do you do at sleepover parties? You stay up real late, said Danny. You watch a great movie. You play party games in the dark. I like uh, Torch, like Chasey's and Burglar Bill. <sighs> Love the drawings. You make shadows and throw Spongebob, says Danny. Danny. You eat chocolate cake and all sorts of buns and sweets. Then when it's very, very late, says Aunt Danny, you snuggle down in your sleeping bag and laugh and talk until you fall asleep. <laughs> Hal was excited. He clapped his hands. I'm going with you, he said. Don't be silly, said Danny. You can't come. You're too small. I'm not too small. I want to go to the sleepover party, said Hal. Mammy, please, 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 can I go to the sleepover party? Please. No, Hal, you can't. You're too young anyway. You're not invited, said Mammy. <gasps> oh, no. Big wet tears dripped down Hal's cheeks. But I really, really, really want to go. Well, you can't, said Danny. Tap, tap. Granny's here, said Mammy. Hal hit his head. He didn't want Granny to see him crying. Whatever's the matter, Hal? Asked Granny. She sat up and lifted him up on her lap. Hal put his arm around Granny's neck. I want to go to the sleepover party, said Hal. But everyone says I'm too small. It's not fair. Well, said Granny, I've never been to a sleepover party, not once in my whole life. I suppose I'm too old now. Of course not, Granny. You can never be too old for anything. Then Hal had a brilliant idea. Granny, he said, why don't we have a sleepover of our own? We could have it at my house, said Granny. What a good idea, said Mammy. Yay! Dancing with the cat. Granny went home to get things ready for her first ever sleepover party. How made a list. A list. Torch, false face, chocolate milkshake, buns, biscuits, party cakes, sleeping bag, wash bag, pajamas. He packed his sleepover bag. Granny came back in her little blue car. Hal rushed out. Bye bye, Mammy! Bye bye, Danny! Bye bye, Danny! Hal and Granny were off to their very own sleepover party. Granny's living room was full of party things. Hal was delighted. This is brilliant! He said. Hal and Granny watched cartoons. They played Torchlight Chases and Burglar Bill. They made shadow pictures. Shadow pictures. McCool. 
The true sponge balls. True sponge balls. Boing, 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 boing. They ate chocolate cake and all sorts of buns and sweets. When it was very, very late, they snuggled down in their sleeping bags. He <laughs> loves his face. Yeah. This is the best sleepover party ever, said Hal. Ever, ever, said Granny. And they both fell fast asleep. <laughs> and that's it. That's the story. So, bye-bye.